Hello all, welcome to part 28 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to use hooks in Kukumbar. So let's get started. So in Kukumbar projects, we can use hooks. Okay. Uh, there are two hooks guys mainly that is at the rate before and at the rate after. So we are going to use that hooks in Kukumbar now. So how to use them? For that, I'll go to Eclipse ID, where we have this Cucumber project already created as part of the previous sessions. Now, I'll go to one of the step definition classes here. Okay, you see here, we have three feature files, login, register, and such. Go to any of these step definition classes. You don't have to go to only login or only register or only search. You can go to any of these step definition classes. Okay, so I'll, I'll go to search case, okay, just for... Uh, Showing you, I'll go to search. Okay, I'm not going to log in or register. I'm going to search. You see, you can go to any of the step definition classes and write the hooks methods here one time. You don't have to write the hooks in each and every class. Okay, only write only once. That is public void. I'll say set up. Okay, set up. And here I'll write uh, at the rate before annotation I have to write. Okay. This is from Cucumber, guys. At the rate before annotation is from Cucumber and it's called as hooks, okay? At the rate before and hover the mouse and import it from, don't import it from JNIT, guys. You have to import from IO Cucumber Java, okay? Once you have imported this, this method will become a hook, okay? Setup hook, which will be applicable not only for the search feature file, but also the scenarios in the login and register also. This particular hook method will be applicable Okay, even though you are writing this in, under the search step definition, still it is applicable for all the step definitions and all the feature files. Only one time in one of the feature, uh, one of the def step definition class, you have to write this hooks method that is at the rate before hook method. Okay, now the next thing is here I'll write on something system.out.println. I'll write, okay, opening the browser. Browser got opened, otherwise, okay. Browser got opened. I'll write here. I'm writing the code. I assume that here I'm writing the Selenium code for opening the browser. That's it. Okay. Before every scenario, we have to open the browser, right? That's the reason we have to write setup. Okay. And similarly, I'll write one more hook method that is public void. You can either say tear down or closure, whatever the name you feel convenient. Okay. In the industry, people use tear down. So I'm using it. You can use closure or any other name also. You can give no problem. Here also, setup name or any other name, you can give no problem. I'll write at the rate after guys. Okay. This particular hook will run after every scenario in every feature file. Even though you are writing this hooks methods in one of the step definition classes of the feature file, but these are going to be applicable for all the feature files, all the scenarios in the feature file. Okay. Feature files. That is, though you are writing in such dot java it will be applicable for login register and search all okay only one time you have to mention in one of the step definition classes of the feature files here import this after hook from okay io cucumber java again okay system dot out dot print and i'll write uh close browser got closed got closed okay assume that here i'm writing the selenium code or any other automation code for closing the browser now only one place in the search.java have provided this. Now let's see how this is going to work. I'll go to the runner.java, my runner.java and run this and see. Here I'll remove the tags. I don't no more need tags here. Okay, I want to run all the feature files, all the scenarios and all. Let's see how it will work. Okay. So here, I'm going to right click and say run as JUnit test case, all the feature files, all the scenarios and all the feature files will run. And in the output, you will see that before every scenario, okay, before every scenario, browser will be opened. You see, the browser got opened, browser got closed, browser got opened, browser got closed. This is a login scenario. First scenario of the login, which is data driven scenario, browser got opened and browser got closed. And for second scenario in the login, browser got opened, browser got closed. Third scenario in the login, browser got opened, browser got closed. Fourth scenario in the login, browser got opened, browser got closed. Fifth scenario in the login, browser got opened, browser got closed. And finally, restart scenarios have started here also, you see, browser got opened, browser got closed. Second scenario of the restart got opened, got closed. Third scenario got opened, got closed. Fourth scenario of the restart got opened, got closed. Okay, and search scenarios, browser got opened, browser got 
closed. Second scenario of the search got opened, got closed. Got opened, got closed for the third scenario of the search also. You see, only one time you mentioned in one of the step definition classes of the okay project and it is running. Those hooks methods are running for all the all the feature file step definition classes, even though at one place only you just mention that. Okay. So this is what are the hooks guys. Okay. If you want to run something before running a scenario, if you want to do something before uh, running a scenario, or if you want to do something after uh, running a scenario, every each and every scenario before running and after running, then we have to go for hooks guys. Like this, you have to create the hooks before and after. Okay. So that's all for this session, guys. This is all about the hooks and how to use hooks in Cucumber. But there are a few more things that I need to explain about hooks that I'm going to cover in the next session. So we have something known as tagged hooks. Okay. One more concept is there known as tagged hooks. Okay. That I'm going to cover in the next session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.